Florence, normally known as a picturesque holiday destination, instead saw scenes like this on Saturday. Hundreds of anti-government protesters clashing with police, officers in riot gear with batons charging forcefully at protesters. Some demonstrators dragging metal fences into the street as a barricade. Protesters pushed back too, throwing smoke bombs and firecrackers, which burned at the feet of officers, forcing them to retreat. The total scene was violence and chaos. The protesters were marching through the streets in an attempt to get to where the Prime Minister, Matteo Renzi, was attending his Democratic Party's annual convention. The demonstrators were sending a message. They're furious over constitutional reforms the Prime Minister wants to introduce via a referendum next month. Reforms Renzi has staked his political future on. At its essence, the changes would draw power away from the Senate and the regions and concentrate it in the hands of the Prime Minister. A controversial move, Matteo Renzi says, is necessary for an outdated, overcomplicated political system. His critics, though, accuse him of a power grab. At the moment, the public seem to agree. Current opinion polls suggest he will lose the referendum. There have been angry demonstrations against the Renzi government in the past, but these may be the first involving violence. With a month to go to the vote, they may not be the last we see of the people on the streets. Regid Ahmed, BBC News.